of the mayor and this council, our thoughts and our prayers are with the families who are experiencing a tremendous and unnecessary loss due to a careless census act. Um, our PD, our firefighters, and our other first responders work tirelessly to keep our community safe. And when census acts like this occur, it affects us all. So I just ask that we keep this family in our thoughts and our prayers during this difficult time. And let's, as a community, remain vigilant and safe. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to our police department and our PIO officer, Alex Cuevos. Thank you very much. Evening, everyone. My name is Officer Alexander Cuevas, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R, C-U-E-V-A-S. I am the Public Information Officer for the North Las Vegas Police Department. I'm here to provide you an update on the mass casualty traffic collision that occurred earlier today. Today at 3 p.m., officers received a call about a traffic collision involving multiple vehicles in the area of Cheyenne and Commerce in reference to multiple vehicles involved in a collision. Upon arrival, officers did locate the traffic collision. And with that, I'm going to update you a little bit more details. Uh, preliminary investigation revealed the following. A Dodge Challenger was traveling northbound on Commerce, approaching the intersection at a high rate of speed. Upon that, witnesses stated that the Dodge Challenger did run a red light and struck multiple vehicles, causing a chaotic event. As for the vehicles involved, it involves a maroon Dodge Challenger, a white Toyota Seneca, a white Ford Fusion, a tan Chevy Malibu, a white Hyundai Tucson, and a white Mercedes SUV. Some of the vehicles after being struck were pushed into the northeast lot, a vacant lot at that, uh, of the intersection, a total of 15 people were involved in this incident. There. All right, Shalom Israel. Shalom, Salakia. Once again, it's the brother Kalab here to the spare to bring out a quick video. But before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh, Kalab, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rapidash. Hey, Yah Bashim Yahushai is putting a beating on these people, you know? It's the. Uh, just meditating, you know, I want to say, you know, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is finally um, judging these two-thirds, right? These heathens, right? And he's, he's they, they said mass casualty, and you guys are going to be able, you guys are going to be seeing this more and more frequently. We're in that time where Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is stretching out his arm and judging judging the wicked, right? <clears throat> Zephaniah chapter 3 and 5, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doeth, doeth he bring his judgment to light. He fell not, but the unjust know no shame, right? And that's what these people, you know, out there in Las Vegas, you know, just be, being around Jake, you know, at the barbershop, this and that. Everyone's in the spirit to go to Vegas trying to trying to, trying to to capture some mirth, right? But Yabashim Yashai, man, he's catching all these people from all angles. And Thwadi Yabashim Yashai for his judgments, you know? He's gonna to continue to pour out these judgments, you know, <clears throat> uh, upon upon Israel and upon the heathen, right? <clears throat> and Jake don't want to get right, <clears throat> and it, you know, I've dealt with a lot of people and a lot of people that have done me dirty, and that's the spirit that they're in, you know, like my baby mama, like girls that I deal with <clears throat> during all that spirit, you know, to go out to Vegas, to go out all these fucking places, right? So y'all, about you to know, tighten up, put the squeeze and hurt on these people. Second Corinthians chapter five and eleven says, "Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience." So Yahbashim Masha, see ultimately these people know in the back of their minds they know why they're getting hit. You know, they're wicked. You know, and and Yahbashim is is judging right now, and so that's how we need to be fearful in the Lord. We need to be walking circumspect, and we need to be, um, you know, seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know, fervently. First Peter 4 and 1, For as much then as Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind, for, for he that suffered in the flesh 
has seized from sin. So like, but, and that's what these, that's why these people mostly getting hit because they're walking in the flesh, right? They're not walking in the spirit of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. And that's something, and that's through the spirit right there. That one, I didn't mean to get though. Um, being that, being meditating in regards to like the way my, everything is right now, it's clearly Yahweh Bashim Shai is guiding us, right? He's got the hedge of protection on certain men, given that they're doing their part, you know? So when you want to stay on that straight and narrow, so you have that, you have the, those angels in camp around about you, you know, at all times. It says, some men will not taste death. I don't know how we are those men because I was meditating and saying, you know what? <clears throat> and, and and through the midst, just being out there on the highways and byways and my daily routines, you know, Yahweh Shemesh has kept me from a lot of evil, you know, and, so, and, and some instances, evils that I, that I could have placed upon myself, you know. But that's why we, we want to walk circumspectly, which that's the one I'll probably get. So, Google. So we want to be walking circumspect. Uh, because, you know, and this was actually was a brother. There was a brother that I was speaking to. This is all through the spirit. Right I just thought of it. He was telling me. That, you know, he's he was congregating around, like, other Israelite camps, I believe, who he had mentioned, right? And we're not to tell everybody's business, but this is this is for edification purpose. So, there's no, like, not really no smut, not to smut anyone up or anything, but it was just sound advice, you know? You really don't want to be around, you really don't want to be around too many Jake, you know? And I guess there was, he was telling me there was, like, controversy between, they got into it, you know, in regards to doctrine, you know? And that's why we want to stay single-minded, you know? You want to be walking circumspectly so you don't put yourself in situations that can can end up, you know, uh, can end up harmful towards you, you know, through the spirit, right? Just spirit, just spiritually getting, getting attacked, you know, just by somebody insulting you that could throw off your whole spirit, right? And fighting, you know, etc. That that could that could land you in jail or could land you in fucking in the morgue, right? So we want to be walking circumspectly. It says. Ephesians chapter five and fifteen says, "See that see that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil." Right. So we want to be uh, constantly uh, meditating. You know, we use the world, but not abuse the world. But like, if you're directly putting yourself in a situation where you know there's controversy and things like things of that nature, and and basically two thirds, you know, a lot of the times, you know, you, then you're, then you're opening yourselves up for, for, you know, something bad to happen, you know, especially when, when you're not fulfilling your lot, you know, in regards to what Yahweh Bashi has, has commanded you or what your portion is, you know, <clears throat> Isaiah 55 and six, and see, that's, this is why these people are getting hit, you know, they're gonna to continue to be hit, and, and a lot of them are the one, are the ones that mocked and scoffed and have been told the truth. So, so moreover, like you knowing this truth, knowing how about and you took it as a joke. You 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 gave a blind eye. You know you you just you just look past it as if it, if as if it was nothing, right? You this you're gonna to want to seek the Lord, but it's gonna to come to a time where. That those doors of mercy, you know, those are going to be closed. Isaiah chapter 55 and 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon his name while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God. For he will abundantly pardon, you know. So, be sincere, you know, if there's things that are lacking, you know, seek the Lord. If you have questions, you're not understanding certain things, pray to help, pray, you know, pray that uh, to God, pray to help, you know, wherever you need to start at and ask for things to be revealed unto you, if you, you know, so that you may fall and fall and have uh, fall under that umbrella of mercy, you know, because you don't want to be caught out here like these two thirds. Y'all about to continue to, to, to plague these people, you know? So, let's just leave it at that. I think that's it. Hey, so, you know, we understand how about you guys going to continue 
the onslaught upon the two thirds. You know, mainly, let me see if I could get that. Because that's, that's moreover, we know the heathen, we already know the judgment of the heathen, you know. Let me see. Uh, this punishment, and oh, there was one. Oh, I, I think it was that second. You know, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. The, I got to read this chapter. I put that in my notes. Junkards of Ephraim, if you bear with me. From, and then this is dealing this is dealing with the northern kingdom right and see how about has uh, this is where I, what I see a lot you know you know throughout my daily you know I'm around Iskar I'm around Zebulon a lot and they're very 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 a very very in a state like you know the world is at, uh Somehow Israel, somehow Israel, right? Moreover, the Northern Kingdom, well, all Israel, right? But since I'm speaking about Israel, they still know how to conjure up Murph. These motherfuckers be hiring bands, uh, they be drinking all night, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? It, it, they're they've always been and and will be in a, in a party spirit, um, until they get put down, you know. And this, and I know this one, and that's why this is who I. This this is uh, in essence, you know how I used to walk, but y'all about to is 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 gonna be is gonna be fucking getting its car out here through the spirit, you know, they deserve it. And well, moreover, the northern kingdom, Isaiah chapter twenty eight one says, "Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are the head." Of the valleys of the fat are overcome with wine, and see Ishkar, they know how to work, man. A lot of Ishkar, they they're like hood rich, you know. That's that's how I see it. They're hood rich. They they got bread, you know. They, but because of all the wickedness they do, right? And and um, and Jake in general, right? But I'm just saying, like they 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 do they did have some substance, you know. They they're able to to um to navigate, you know, you know through through their slave labor and through the wicked, you know, selling drugs and all that and whatever else they do, extortion, whatever, you know, all the sh bullshit they do, right? But see, all this, all that fat, all that, all the things they that they have, that's going to be taken away, you know? Verse 2 says, Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which is, which as a tempest of hell and destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down the earth with the hand. And that's, Ishkar is fucking proud. God damn, they're so fucking proud, you know? And along with the men and women, you know? It's the same shit all across the board, but, you know, this scripture is right here is in regards to Ephraim. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim shall be trodden underfoot. And that's spiritual because uh, in the union, like, I gravitate towards Jake. Just, just, I just already know it. I've known this about myself. And moreover, like Judah, because it's either Ishkar or Judah, right? So if I'm not around Judah, it's, 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 I mean, Ishkar, or, you know, and then sometimes it's been Zebulon, Manasseh, whatever. Um, But, like, in instance, this, um, like, in regards to, like, these drunkards in Ephraim, right? Uh, this this uh, Judah, and he, this Judah, he's a security guard. He's, he's, he's built up and everything, and he, he works in the union in his night job. He tells me, you know... He works at an Ishakar club, like you know the, that that party atmosphere. And he said, "Man, Ishakar, man, they know how to fucking party." Like he was all he looked all rough the, the day I seen him, um, because he had he said he's all I had to go in, you know, my night shift at that, you know, at the club at the Ishakar club. But then the owners they be asking him to stay longer. Like he said, that stay until seven in the morning to 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 operate the club, right? To secure the club because Ishakar just don't stop partying. So y'all about to my shot to the spirits, you know. It's gonna punish these these damn Mr. Christ, you know, and they deserve it, you know. And that's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful sight, you know, because like I said, our people are proud, bro. Our people are so proud, you know. Uh, verse three: the crown, the crown of the pride of the drunkards of Ephraim shall be trodden under feet, and his glorious beauty, which is on the head of the fat of the valley, shall be a fading flower, as hasty fruit before the summer, which they, he that looked upon the earth, seen it while he yet. In his hand, he eat it up. And this is the where I want to get. It's his spiritual verse 5. And that day shall the Lord of hosts be a crown of glory for a Damien of the beauty and the residue of his people. 
so this is this is all right so this is talking like a new refresh people refresh people so but you know before we get there yahweh has to punish these two, these two turds you know what i mean and that's beautiful man i can't wait to see i, I can't wait to see this car get fucking put down because somehow some way they still can't know how to conjure up a, a spirit of murph you know um, but y'all, dude, how about Shimei on Shai? Oh, I don't want to say how about Shimei Shai kill more of these goddamn Ishkarites. And to the spirit last year, see this Las Vegas one, a lot of Ishkar be going out there too. And, and, and there was nine dead, right? With, with that article I brought out. And last year, I believe, or two years, no, last year, two years ago, around this time, uh, around, around where I live, around the Fresno area, they got, um, nine, nine, uh, people got fucking dead, you know, caught dead, uh, crashing in, in in a truck and all due to that drunkard shit right because a, a drunk driver hit a fucking van full of ish christ so that's a beautiful thing so so you know how about shine is in the mist and he does not do iniquity so therefore i'm gonna give all honor and glory to my power which is yahweh